The memories I have from D. Rose are so amazing. You know, he was the best guy in the league to make those little short cuts in the lane, those quick little fast-paced moves. Mm -hmm. two, this Rose, his first bucket of the season on a spectacular move. There was brilliance that we were deprived of seeing with their growth. Rose on the fly. Because he's a former MVP whose career you fear will be cut short. Feels like he hit a jet. Did you see how he just exploded on that play? And then the explosion to the rim. Split the pick and roll and then finished over the top at the rim. He was number one overall draft pick and a former MVP, but have we seen the last of Derrick Rose? Watch. number one overall pick since 1999. We think we know where they're going. With the first pick in the 2008 NBA draft, the Chicago Bulls select Derrick Rose from the University of He was the guy everyone used to love to love. You know, they're the love to hate guys and there are a couple athletes here and there who everyone seems to love to love. That was Derrick Rose. And that's gone forever along with the player he used to be. He's so hard to defend because, first off, he has the moxie of a veteran player. Oh, oh, Rose. He's back. And he has a tremendous ball handling, so he can get anywhere on the floor at any time. Oh, oh, Derek Rose will be a paddock stuff. He will take that last shot. He is not afraid of taking the last shot. That's what superstar players do. Yep. Six seconds. Down to, to four. Now he's going to go. Windy City Assassin does it again. lives his life, he's obsessed with, he's tortured by trying to carry this team to a post-Michael Jordan championship. Just one championship. probably means more to his city than any other player means to their city. Whoa, perfect timing. Oh, beautiful pass. And that's why so many people feel like Derrick Rose could be the most valuable player in the league this season. Let's not forget when he was 22 years old and won the MVP, the following season before he got hurt, he was better. He was progressing in his career. He was now more of a pure point guard than he had been even when he won the MVP. It was amazing to watch. Rondo shot was rejected by Rose. Oh, we <laughs> will see you in Boston Saturday night for game seven. You got the one guy who, when all else fails, you can give him the ball and he can create for himself. Just relax for a moment. Rose against Allen. There's nobody staying in front of Derrick Rose. I told you, Neil Funk, this is MVP time. Get up or get out the way. He went by, he went by Tony Allen like he was in quicksand. It's a bad pass, quick off. I just wanted you to know. Derrick Rose put his shoe on here. Square guard steal. Little old Dang with it. He came down, didn't travel. Oh, it throws the MVP with 11 seconds left. The Bulls with a chance to win here on Christmas Day. Throws left. Oh, Derek Rose and the Bulls come back to 
take a one-point lead. Now that was great basketball strategy. Just before it hits the glass, oh, what a recovery. Spins inside. I understand D. Rose's frustration, right? Mm -hmm. MVP of this league. To the basket, Derrick Rose! You're at the top of your game, and then you have an injury, and it's all downhill from there. You never can recover. Yep. I can relate to that. And this is a guy who is what Russell Westbrook is right now. He's the most athletic point guard in the NBA that we've really ever seen. Then he has this catastrophic injury, and he's never fully the same. Oh, Rose came down bad on his left foot. See him holding on to his knee, holding on to his knee and down. So, to become sort of a, you know, a shadow of, of his uh, former self, uh, seems like it's taken a toll on him. Derek Rose out for the indefinite future, definitely for the rest of the season it appears. That look is on about everybody's face here. That, that, that epitomizes what people are. That's why I won here. People felt like they were on their way to go deep in the playoffs, maybe make a run for the respective championships, and now you cannot say the same thing that you could say just as recent as 24 hours ago. Trying to get up ahead of steam. At the top, to his left, lost his dribble. Got it back. Joe King, Rose. For Big time plays! 109, 109 at the buzzer. That's what I'm talking about, D. Rose. You have a Derrick Rose who just can't get out of his mind that he won the MVP <laughs> 10 years ago. Like, I mean, Five surgeries ago. I mean, I mean it's, it's almost like he doesn't believe that he can decline. So the Chicago Bulls, according to Winhorst, are moving on Derrick Rose. They're moving on. I think there is real reason, health permitting, to be optimistic about Derrick Rose, can, what he can be for the Knicks. And this does not look good. It looks painful. Derrick Rose had his seventh major injury yesterday. Derrick Rose has missed 212 in four seasons and played 107. Like actually Porzingis being fouled by Petulia, elbowed Derrick Rose in the face, and Rose is in some pain right now. It's not his own doing. You feel bad for it. you feel bad for the young man. He's 26 years old. And this is a third knee procedure. And when Tom Thibodeau gave him a shot, we thought, okay, he coached him with the Bulls. Mm -hmm. And last year, it looked like he was done. It looked like his body had betrayed him, and he was done. This was shocking. This was shocking, and for me as a basketball fan, Derrick Rose straight away looking at a triple Kansas. It was thrilling. He's a gutty basketball player. And he is trying to remake himself in more ways than one, not just on the basketball court. After the Cavs have moved on from him, when he didn't know if his career was still coming. How great is his body control, the way that he's able to handle the basketball and get to where he wants to. And he was just trying to get another shot in the NBA. It's the second time Derrick Rose now has taken on Rudy Gobert. Speaking of body one. control. been fun to watch the Timberwolves apply their will to the Utah Jazz here tonight. And they start the third quarter on a high note as Derrick Rose pushes it back. It's not just that Rose scored 50 points or that those 50 were a career high. It's the way that he played that was just so showstopping. His shot looks better to me than it's ever looked. He's got more arc on the ball. Rose playing really well for the Timberwolves. And the crowd applauding the effort out of Derrick Rose here tonight. When the pick and pop is there, Towns would have popped. Rose, it was better. That night was meant to be. Derrick Rose has 41. One off of his NBA career high. His first 40-point game since March of 2011. Will Holmgren 
tweeted at me during the break. He was saying Derrick Rose is dressed up as 2011 Derrick Rose for <laughs> Halloween. But last night offered everybody a glimpse of what this young man could have been. Rose out of the corner, and it's a new career That's high crazy. for Derrick Rose. That's crazy. You know how hard it is what he just did? 44 for Rose. Rose, already a career high 44. The stop, the go, the finish. 46 for Rose. Get a bucket, get a stop, get out of here with a win. Derrick Rose has overcome a horrific, and in many cases, heartbreaking series of injuries that robbed the league's youngest ever MVP of one of the great what might have been careers. And it's not over yet. The fact that he's still standing, much less doing what he did on that court last night, that is incredible. Derrick Rose, not only Jimmy, he scored 46 points, he's played 40 minutes. Rose gets inside. Puts up a tough shot and hits it anyway. 48. Looks awfully great. And for him to have this moment, even if he never gets another moment like this, what, as a basketball fan, sports-wise was a beautiful thing. This open, Towns doesn't give it to him. And then Derrick Rose is fouled. Those injuries robbed him, and it robbed us the ability to see him at his absolute apex. 50. A half a century for Derrick Rose here tonight. And Utah will burn its final time out. He was unbelievable last night. 50 points. He, he loves this game. He loves to play. He thought it was all being taken away from him. Rebound trapped down by Rubio. Ingles will fire for three. That won't drop. Another rebound. Exum has it blocked in the corner by who else? Derek, 2011 MVP, Rose. Derek was super emotional. He was just doubled over in tears. Everybody just streams out on the floor to, to greet him, showing the respect. And they all know what this means to him. They know what he's lost and now what he's trying to find. I feel for the young man, you know? I feel for him and I'm happy for him in this moment. Well, that's one of the most impressive performances of the year in the entire league. The, the franchise, the, the organization, the, the fans, everybody, man. I wouldn't be able to play the way I play. What an incredible performance tonight. And I don't care his run at his peak. If you're from Chicago, you want it to be that. You want it to be the number one pick from the Bulls, having that building rocking the way that he did. And um, no, the hope, the hope was real, and the hope all around the city. There was brilliance that we were deprived of seeing uh, as long as we wanted to see it here in Chicago. This guy is off the charts. Derrick Rose again. Oh my goodness. Swerving. And serving. And you're the MVP chance. Why not? Too big, too strong, too fast, too good. Derrick Rose's game was predicated on athleticism. I'll tell you what, you saw Mr. Evans right there. He did not want to get over there and try to Year after year after year in Chicago, where he's like the guy who's supposed to return them to glory, like Michael Jordan did. Good defense. pass. Whoa! Stop it! Stop it! Do not do him like that! What are you doing, Dragic? Did you not get the memo? Derrick Rose can go upstairs. Nobody.
nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so. 